I am Jasper Lowndes and I'm the Resource Center Coordinator here at the LGBTQI Resource Center. We're currently in my office. You can always come find me and chat with me if you need support with any resources um, or if you want any book recommendations. And so let's get into some of those. All right, first off is The Witch Boy. The Witch Boy is an amazing graphic novel by Molly Knox Ostertag. Uh, and it's all about sort of the danger of uh, gender roles and how they can really narrow the uh, narrow the playing field for folks and I think the witch boy specifically does a really good job of taking what is sort of a ridiculous premise like about a little boy who wants to become a witch in a magical family where he can't become a witch but um, makes it super relevant for um, our time now and talks about you know how gendered interpretations of what people can and cannot be are incredibly harmful um, for real kids and for little witch boys as well. So yeah, Witch Boy is an amazing graphic novel, super quick read. Up next, we have Picture Us in the Light. Picture Us in the Light is one of my favorite books I've read this year. It's by Kelly Lloyd Gilbert, and she is actually like a fairly local author. Um, She's this amazing Asian American author from uh, Daily City. So uh, she does a really great job of writing about this story of this young first generation high school student who is this amazing artist. And he's sort of navigating a lot of things, including his queerness. And yeah, he's navigating it all in Cupertino. So also again, a fairly local sort of uh, setting which I think can always be fun. Um, this book was sold to me as a rom-com, definitely not a rom-com, but it is an amazing, amazing story and there is enough, you know, queer love in there and queer yearning that I think um, really makes it a super cool novel to pick up. Uh, very well paced, very well done. Up next we have Missing Daddy by Mariam Kaba. So this book is a really great sort of introduction into um, family dynamics, different different structures of family. Um, we have a lot of really great children's books actually highlighted in our uh, resource center's library. And I think it's really important to sort of remember that at any age we're at, we're learning. And children, you know, we might not think they're ready for like some of the harder topics, but they so, so are. And so if you have any little ones in your life, you can always come by our center and grab uh, some children's books. This book is really beautifully and I think like tenderly illustrated. And it's talking about the different family dynamics um, that can come up when you have a parent who is incarcerated. So uh, very cool stuff. Yeah, by Miriam Kaba, who is a very renowned abolitionist and super cool human being generally. Up next we have All About Love by Bell Hooks. So All About Love is one of those quintessential um, books that I think everyone should pick up and try and read or get the audiobook version, you know, whatever works for you. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so good. I picked this book up in my first year of undergrad uh, back when I was a student here at UC Davis and it completely redefined how I live my life. Um, I think that this is a really great book to look not only into like romantic love and um, you know like platonic love and stuff like that but to restructure your life around love which is an amazing topic by an amazing black queer feminist author Bell Hooks. So yes, please pick it up. All about love. Next we have Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, which is such a fun and poignant graphic novel by Mariko Tamaki, um, who is a Canadian um, author. She's Asian and she talks a lot, a lot about sort of queerness um, from the perspective of, of like an outsider. So not like the, the cool, um, popular queer, but you know, sort of like that little outcast uh, uh, thing that I think a lot of people can really relate to. And this book is so good. 
I think what's amazing about it too is that it centers around a sapphic couple. Um, but it talks about how just because a couple is queer doesn't mean that their relationship is perfect, which I think a lot of media can get into. Um, I think especially with like sapphic couples, people think that like, you know, violence can't occur between uh, two women, right? But, um, you know, you can still have a toxic relationship and you can still have a bad breakup <laughs> just because it's queer. Uh, it's super cool. I think also one thing I want to highlight is that the art style in this book is really amazing. Um, unlike other graphic novels that have like, yeah, very, um, very high pigment and high contrast um, sort of art styles, this book is exclusively in gray, black, and gray, black, pink, and white. And I think it's just a really excellent sort of way to approach the art within this book. And yeah, I really loved it. It's a very quick read. You will eat it all up. All right. And the last book I'll highlight is Lil Nas X's debut children's book. I hope he writes so many more. Um, but this is C is for Country. It's a really fun alphabet book about a young, queer, black cowboy um, just sort of moving through like a rural landscape. And I think, you know, those are stories that are really, truly not told. Um, and I think that's why, you know, so many people fell in love with Lil Nas X as a person and, you know, as an author of a really cute children's book. So yeah, I think he showcases a perspective that is really powerful and within this book and within his life, you know, I think he really tries to, to center sort of his own perspective and, and what makes him so special. Um, it's also just very pretty, um, really cute children's book. Feel free to pick it up for any of the kids in your life. It also has a lot of his amazing looks, his iconic, you know, pink, uh, pink uh, chaps and, and cowboy hat. Um, so if you know about how awesome he is on the runway, you're gonna love this book. Um, these books are all available to pick up at any time and check out from the UC Davis LGBTQI Resource Center's library. We actually share a library system with the Women's Resources and Research Center. So if you're familiar with that system, you already have a library card with us. Uh, just come in, grab a library card, and you can check out as many books as you'd like for as long as you want. Just please bring them back. And yeah, you can continue to learn and grow with us. Um, our library space is also a really special space within our center because it's the Angelina Malfitano Memorial Library. Um, Angie was an amazing human being, student, activist who worked within our center and really tried to create um, safer spaces for folks to learn and grow. So we hope that you know our library that really memorializes her and her commitment to, to bringing everyone with us in the struggle right towards liberation. So. Big shout out to Angie Malfitano and we hope that you come by and learn with us. Thank you.